Hi everyone! For today's session, we will discuss about binary numbers. Binary came from the word bi, meaning two, and in binary numbers, we are in the base two system. So, meaning to say there are only two numbers used, which are zero and one. Okay, let's have this example here. So, this is a binary number. This is read as 10011, and as you can see, we have a subscript 2 here. It is to indicate that this number is a binary number. Kasi kapag hindi natin siya nilagyan ng uh, subscript 2, we might be confused na ito ay uh, 10,011 or nasa decimal siya. And um, each digit in binary number is called a bit from the words binary digit. So in this example, how many bits do we have? Okay, so there are 5 bits. In binary numbers, it is necessary to know the number base system. For example, we have the binary number 10110011.011 and using this example, let's know the place values we have in binary. So since nasa base 2 system tayo from the point, to the left, magsa-start yung place value natin from 2 raised to 0, and then 2 raised to 1, and then 2 raised to 2, and so on. So as you go along, increase lang tayo ng 1 sa exponent. And as you can see, endless siya. So we have here an ellipsis. So pwede nyo siyang dagdagan depending on the given binary number. And then from the point to the right, the place value starts with 2 raised to negative 1 or 1 over 2 raised to 1, then 2 raised to negative 2, or 1 over 2 raised to 2, then 2 raised to negative 3, or 1 over 2 raised to 3, and so on. And now, for you to uh, easily remember this place values, let's convert it into whole number. So we have your 2 raised to 0, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1, and then we have your 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2, 2 raised to 2, is, which is equal to 4, and so on. Well, on the right side, we have a fraction. So we have 1 over 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 1 half. We have 1 over 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 1 fourth. 1 over 2 raised to 3, which is equal to 1 eighth, and so on. So, uh, ito yung tatandaan nyo sa place value. Sa left side, the place value always starts with 1. And then for you to identify what will be the next place value, just multiply it by Two. So we have to start with 1, then to know the next place value times 2, so we have 2, and then we have your 2, multiply ulit natin sa 2 to know the next place value which is 4, and then 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32, and so on. Well, dito sa the right side, multiply naman tayo by 1 half. So we'll always start with 1 half, then to know the next place value, multiply by 1 half. So 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 fourth, and then 1 fourth times 1 half is equal to 1 eighth, and so on. So it is important for you to remember these place values because we are going to use this in converting binary number to decimal and vice versa. We are now to convert binary numbers to decimal. So, let's have uh, the binary number 101. So, again, kapag binary number, we're always going to write subscript 2. Kasi kung hindi natin yan lalagyan na sub subscript 2, we're going to read this, this as 101. So, lagyan-lagyan ng subscript 2 kapag binary number. So, in converting... Uh, binary to decimal, the first thing that we're going to do is to rewrite the binary number. So we have 1, 0, 1. And then what we're going to do is to identify the place value. So, diba? So, nasa whole number tayo, wala naman tayo sa point. So, we'll always start with 1. Then, uh, from that point to the left, multiply lang natin sa 2. So, we have 1, then 2, and then, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, ito yung place values na na-mention natin early. And then, what we're going to do is to disregard yung place value na ang corresponding binary digit is 0. And then, we're going to add the remaining place values, which are 4 and 1. Adding 4 and 1, we'll be having 5. So, 5 is the uh, equivalent 
of the in decimal of the binary number 101. Second example, we have 1010. Let's rewrite. 1010. Let's identify the place value. So we'll start with 1, and then 2, 4, and 8. Disregard yung may uh, binary digit na 0 and then let's add the remaining place values which are 8 and 2. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. So 10 is the decimal equivalent of the binary number 1010. Third example, we have 1010111. Okay, let's write. 5 the place value. So we'll start again with 1, then 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Disregard. Disregard the um, place values na um, corresponding bit is 0. And then let's add 64, 16, 4, 2, and 1, so, which is equal to 87. So, 87 is the decimal equivalent ng given binary number. Okay, fourth example, we have 1111011. Let's rewrite. And identify the place value. So, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Disregard yung may 0. And let's add the remaining place values. So, 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 123. So, that is the final answer. 123. Fifth example, we have 1010.101. Let's rewrite the whole binary number. And from the point to the left, let's identify the place value. So again, we'll start with 1, then 2, 4, 8, and 16. And then from the point to the right, so we'll always start with 1 half. Then multiply to 1 half, which is equal to 1 fourth, times 1 half, which is equal to 1 over 8. And then, um, disregard all the um, 0. And then, add muna natin yung um, place value dito sa whole number side natin. So, we have 16, 4, and 1, which is equal to 21. And then, point. So, we're going to add 1 half and 1 eighth. And then convert the uh, sum into decimal which is equal to 0.625. So, ang ating decimal equivalent for the given binary number is 21.625. Okay, last example. We have 100. 10110.10111. Let's rewrite again. Point 10111. Identify the place values from the point to the left. So we'll have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 64 and 1, 2, 8. Then from the point to the right, so we'll start with 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 over 16, and 1 over 32. Again, disregard yung ating place value na katapatay. 0. Then, let's add. Dito mo na tayo sa left side. 128 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 150 point. So, we have 1 half plus 1 eighth plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32. Then, convert it into decimal which is equal to 0.71875. So, the final answer is 150 point
7-1-8-7-5. Okay, I want you to convert these examples into decimal and the answers will be revealed on our next meeting. Thank you for listening and we hope that you learn. Bye!